Travis. And Heather. And Ari. From Mayfire Design, and we are getting ready to go to the Rockland Mini Maker Fair. Super excited. We went last year, it was a lot of fun. Um, we picked up some liquid energy, of course. And we're gonna meet up with uh, Repcord and uh, Jimmy Jimmy Shaw from Jimmy Shaw's Tidbits. You guys clear? Yep. Stop traffic. Okay. All right. Here we go, guys. Let's count to three. Y'all are gonna count to one, so I'm gonna grab both. All right. Count to three. Three, two, one, go. Woo! <laughs> Alright, come turn the handle. Turn it off. Right Mom! Right. Which one are you controlling? This one right here? <laughs> Is that cool? Jimmy really apparently is getting a million cigar boxes. What are you going to use all these for, Jimmy? I have no clue. <laughs> she says it's for her... Oh, that's right. It's for her crafts. For her crafts, okay. I, miss, I misheard what she said she would put in it. They don't have a million cigars. They just need craft boxes. <laughs> What is that? You got Seahawk colors? Is that a sword? Sword? You gonna get daddy with it? Get daddy. Oh, it's all wet and painty. Get him. Cut my arm. Did you make it? Yeah. That's you? Are you in the little box? It's a cheese. Cheese? <laughs> Who's that? Me. Daddy. <laughs> I want to open it. You want to open it? Yeah. What do you mean open it? You want to hold it? Okay.
All right, it's about two o'clock and we're leaving the Rockland Mini Maker Fair. Yep. Um, wasn't didn't seem as exciting this year, but it was still a lot it of fun things to do for for fun. Ari. She liked it. Yeah. She I made, a lot, of made a lot of crafts and such. Now we're heading over to Mod Pizza with uh, Jimmy and um, Alan and um, my nephew Brandon. We're back from Rockland Mini Maker Fair. We're gonna show Jimmy Shaw and Alan at Red Cord. We're gonna show them some laser cutting. Yeah. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're at the shop here, Rebuild Goods, and uh, we just took Jimmy and Alan through making signs and laser cutting. Uh, we made for Jimmy. We made a Back to the Future sign. And for Alan over It's wrapped here. up nice. Oh yeah, don't forget Yoda. Oh yeah, we made that Yoda. Yoda. Yeah. 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 We did our brownie. <laughs> 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 brownie ponies. Some brownie ponies. <laughs> this is gonna be nice. I'm gonna clean these up for, for my daughters. No, yeah, this is really fun. So they had fun checking out the show. It's awesome. That's it. That's the end to our maker's like favorite. Looks like there might be some uh, chaos cortex. Yeah, a little bit more chaos cortex uh, coasters going on here. <laughs> All right, guys, so it's probably insanely loud. Uh, we have uh, three printers going right now around me, but I wanted to give you a little sneak peek about uh, this mosaic palette that I just got. Um, I've been printing with it pretty much nonstop for the past two weeks, and I wanted to show you a little sneak peek about uh, showing you some of the stuff that I've been doing. Uh, so I started out with the CR10, and I had a little bit of issues getting it fine-tuned on that, and I ended up with stuff like this that had um, missed lines in it and they're kind of reversed and stuff like that because I couldn't get it actually tuned in well on the CR10 or calibrated right I should say. Uh, but then I moved over to the 6 and I started getting prints like this that are pretty awesome and perfect. Uh, this is obviously, let's see, hold on, let me flip this around. little um, squirtle action going on right here and then I printed next I printed my maker coin full four colors uh, I was still having a little bit of tuning issues but I printed uh, this bender see it has that one line everything else is perfect on it though uh, turned out pretty awesome um, I did this pink bunny and again I was having a little bit of calibration issues one line on that but then I, I finally uh, got it fixed and then I did one where the filament ran out <laughs> but that got solved by this one you guys might have seen this on Twitter or Instagram or something this was my first really perfect print on the, the palette uh, this is Sparky Face 5's uh, Omnom uh, somebody remixed it on the uh, on Thingiverse, I'll go ahead and put that link in the description. Uh, but I'm printing some more stuff right now. I'm going to keep printing with this thing, and um, you see my little setup right here. Uh, that's the four spool holder. That that's actually the box that it came in. It just converts down into a spool holder, and it runs over to the pallet, and then goes through to the um, scroll wheel. This is what keeps track of the filament as it's going into the printer. And then it comes out over here. Pretty awesome. I'm really enjoying it. Um, it's been an awesome opportunity to get to check this out. Um, I'll keep you guys updated on where I'm going with it and what I'm printing. And watch my social media if you want to see more. Talk to you guys later.